Broken bridges and fractured nerves as another local bridge mishap is frustrating drivers, blocking ships and boats tonight, and sinking business. For the fourth time in as many months, a Delta bridge has malfunctioned. Good evening, I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sharon Merger. Frustrations are running high with many blaming Caltrans. From the Three Mile Slough Bridge to Rio Vista, Isleton, and the Tower Bridge in Sacramento, all four have had delays in the past month. Let's go over to CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw live for us with a look at what's causing these never ending problems, Jen. Tony and Sharin Caltrans crews have been busy making repairs on these bridges. Here on the Tower Bridge, the traffic is shut down to one lane in both directions. But drivers say what they're most fed up about are those emergency closures. It's a problem these Delta residents are all too familiar with. Another broken bridge. It's very frustrating. It's hard to get home. Caltrans says emergency repairs are now underway on the three mile slew bridge along Highway 160 north of Antioch. The problem first surfaced when the bridge became stuck in the up position earlier this week. It's now been lowered so vehicles can drive across, but now boats are unable to pass underneath the drawbridge and road work is going to cause delays. If you have to reroute, it could be, you know, up to an additional hour. This breakdown comes just days after problems on the Isleton Bridge. The mechanism that locks the bridge broke. And this fall, crews worked for nearly a month to complete emergency repair work to the Rio Vista Bridge after a mechanical failure caused that drawbridge to become stuck too. It's a real problem. I mean, it shuts down uh, the, the, the business in the whole area. A major inconvenience for people who live, work, and drive through the Delta. I've got friends that uh, live in Rio Vista and work in Stockton. And there's been times they've had to stay in a hotel in Stockton because they can't get over here. Caltrans says in many cases, the bridges are old in replacement parts must be custom ordered. Bill Wells with the Delta Chamber of Commerce says Caltrans needs to be proactive. They need to lean on their uh, management to uh, make sure that we kind of work more ahead of the game instead of reacting to problems. Problems that cost millions of dollars and Caltrans says it's going to take years to replace and repair. And you can imagine just how frustrated drivers are, especially during rush hour. But they plan to have this construction wrapped up by the end of the month, depending weather delays.